What's up YouTube, I'm just another guy and welcome back to A Bar. So, here we are at the Real Sociedad game, the game I wanted to play. I think this game has the potential to be a real cracker, a real brilliant game. Uh, hopefully end-to-end -end stuff because both of us are potential relegation candidates. Which means that really this has the making of being a six-pointer. It just depends how much we put into the match both uh, in terms of both teams. So, uh, let's go into get the game we previously played off camera and we actually won that 3-1 so currently we are on a stretch of three wins in a row in the league the longest ever run this club's ever been on because i've been in the charge since the team's been in la liga so the highest ever longest ever win streak there in the top division but not only that we're four games undefeated as well having only conceded two goals in the last four league games these are encouraging signs like i said the real sociedad game i think is a game that we can win we may be away from home, but currently we're favourites. I think currently we've got the form to beat uh, Real Sociedad if we go on to their uh, schedule and the senior squad schedule. Um, well, actually, no. They've they've won their past three games. They've beat Espanyol. They've beat Valencia. They've beaten Rayo. So they've beaten some good teams around them. So we're both in relatively good form going into the game. I don't know how we've got the favourites there. It's quite strange. Uh, but we'll talk about the, the Cordaba... Cordoba game, whatever I pronounce, however you pronounce that. So we won that game three one, very easy, comfortable game. Despite the fact it would, on match stats it looked even, we never really looked in doubt of not walking away from the game of all three points. As you see, forty fourth minute we scored, took the lead just before half time, which was ideal. We then they then got a man sent off in the seventy first minute from Casa for Casadoa, Casado. Jose Casado, uh, before from the resulting free kick that it came from, Tobias Nickelnig scored in the 72nd minute, scoring his first goal for the club, I believe. Uh, and also, we did score an own goal for ourselves, for the other team, which is great. You know, we thought, we can't have, them, have you know, the little team of Abar smashing them 3-0. We better give them a goal before Obina scored pretty much straight from kickoff. So, it was an easy game, very nice and relaxed match to, for really only the second time ever in this whole Maybe the third time, the well, fourth time actually, because the Deportivo game was pretty chilled. Uh, the Malaga game, uh, again, it was pretty chilled. Never really felt out of control in that match. And these two past games, I've, I felt in control. So maybe there's times are changing. You know, it will it will depend upon this Real Sociedad game. I think I ha I have a feeling we'll lose or struggle against Atletico before then we have a chance of bouncing back. Deportivo, Elche, uh, Villarreal. I think these are three teams that we can beat. So let's go forward in the Real Sociedad game. Uh, we lost to them earlier on in the season. What was that result on that day? It was a 2-0 defeat on the first day of the season. Now we currently find ourselves in 16th place. I didn't look at the league table, but we'll do it here. 16th place, only two points off of Vill Villarreal, Real Sociedad and Granada. And even... Or two points, I said. Did I say? I don't even know. And three points off Deportivo La Coruña. So if we were to win this game, we could see ourselves go up into 12th. Albeit temporarily, because teams will play later on today. But we could see ourselves up to top by the by the full time whistle, which would be incredible. You know, it's such a contrast to where we were at the start of the year. So going fourth, this will be the team we're going to play today. Let me just check the bench. Actually, I want to put you on the bench, and apart from, and also, um, I want to put you on the bench so this will be the team that goes out today hopefully it will get us the points overall everyone's been playing well over the past few games Danny Garcia despite his own goal I'd say has been playing really well over these past few games let's hope we can continue th fourth and continue this good run of form we're on because the longer we can go on it the less likely it looks we're going to get relegated and in the end that's that's all we're really aiming for to avoid relegation so, they've gone out of a 4-2-3-1. Still got some great players in there, Sociedad. I'm surprised they're not doing too great in the league this year. I think they sacked their manager already this season. I'm not too sure. I could I could be chatting crap there. Uh, challenge the team to pick up where they left off. Go on then. So, we go. Eibar, Real Sociedad. In what could be a very important game coming into the season for both teams. You know, this could be the turning point in Sociedad's season where they start... Tumbling or falling and maybe enter the relegation zone. Heck, they may even get relegated. Me, we still could get relegated. No, we can't get too ahead of ourselves. We've got a few wins here and there, but we still could get relegated. It's Angel through and Angel has scored in just four minutes. Angel has scored his 11th goal of the season and puts us up into 12th 
place. Angel has been the hero so far this season for us. His goals have been so crucial and so important. And he scores at very good times as well. Just at the start of the game, as you see there, he scored that as well in the previous match. Um, and some previous matches as well. Uh, he scores just before half-time, quite late on in the game. His goals are so crucial for the team. And it always helps having someone that can actually score goals. I mean... We, that, if we didn't have Angel, I don't know where the goals would be coming from. And that's that's quite a worrying thing to have, A, because if Angel gets injured, we would struggle. But as long as he's fit, that's not something I have to worry about. As Real Sociedad go through, and wow, what a wasted opportunity from them. They should be doing a lot better, you know, with no one around him for a few yards. He could have taken the touch and then had a shot. All right, I'm going to pause it now, and I'm going to do a team talk just to Nickelnig, uh, just to tell him to calm down. Um... I don't know, no pressure, I'll tell him. Just calmly, you know, I don't I don't want to work him up. I need him just nice and relaxed. I mean, we're going to get a lot of attacks and we don't need our centre-backs thinking they're going to make the mistake because we just want them to play their natural game without overthinking things. And again, it's a Sociedad a highlight. And oh my God, deep, deep cross in from the corner. And keeper had to save that, I think, or it hit the bar. I don't know, one of the two, but either way, pretty fortunate. To come away with that, without conceding. There's two clear opportunities for Real Sociedad now, actually. And he gets to take one. So, I think that's not good defending from our behalf. It's just poor finishing from them. I think they're having a bad game. Their average ratings are lower than ours. So, that could be just enough to give us that edge right now. God, I don't like the fact Nick and, Nick and Nick is looking nervous still. I haven't really got a good enough centre-back to replace him. If I know he's, he's changed now, he's, he's composed. And he's actually got 7.1 rating, so that's good. Oh, wow, he actually got the assist as well. I didn't even notice that. So, wasn't the worst first half, but there definitely is room for improvement. I'm actually going to say I'm far from pleased. I'm going to demand more from my team. I rarely do that. Normally, if we're 0-0 or 1-0, I'm pretty pleased with it. But I'm going to demand a little bit more here. We, we've been playing well recently. This game, not so much. You know, we need to show... Oh, I should say show the skill we've been doing before. But they've equalized Real Sociedad. Yet again, set pieces seem to be quite dangerous for them in this match. And despite the defender being there, he just mistimes his jump. Keeper should be doing a lot better there. I'm not asking too much of my keeper just to push that away. His body's right behind it. Should be able to do that. So let's make a sub. We're going to bring Obina off and bring Lekic on. We're going to take Erasti off, bring Boateng on, change it to deep line play, make a defend. And we'll make these two changes for now. And we'll see how they affect the team. Again, Nickelnig is looking nervous. He may have been the guy to have, been, to have mistimed his jump. I didn't, it didn't pop up a name for the guy marking an attacker from that last set. Peace is, oh my god, Lekic has come on and scored. Oh no, it's Vela over goal, an own goal. It looked like Lekic just headed that one in and the keeper was unable to keep it out due to sheer power on the header. But completely unmarked, unchallenged. I think a bit of zonal marking there from Real Sociedad. And despite the keeper's best attempts, because the guy on the post was in front of him, he could only push it onto his back. So a little bit fortunate there, but we've got the lead yet again. And that is what matters. I don't care how they come, if they're own goals, if they're fluky goals, if like that, or if they're wonder goals, as long as they come. So if we can get a third goal here, that'd be great. I oh, know, prevent the counter-attack. All right, cool. It's not great. All right. Talk to everyone. Everyone is doing pretty good. All right. Concentrate, lads. Concentrate. You know, keep your minds in the game. Clear it away. Good. The pass back to the keeper. That is fine. As long as we retain possession, I wouldn't mind punting it out at that point. Or punting it forward, really, I should say. Because that's not around him. You could have turned and smashed it. But still, it's a sociedad. Looking relatively dangerous now. If they can find that guy in the wing, they do. And now they've got a lot of space to whip this one in. And what a well-worked goal. Can't really do anything about that. That's a shame. Uh, we're going to bring Nato on. And we're going to take Lara off. Also tell him, uh, I think there's a lot to come to you tonight. They, clearly, they feel the goal was clearly offside. What are they on about offside? He's not offside. You are on your own. Yeah, there's no way he's offside. In my opinion, no way there. He looked onside. Oh, no, not a set piece. Oh, my God. Set pieces are OP. Attacking. Come on, let's get this equalizer. Decent throw. Danny Garcia. Angel. 
And Gil, oh my god, rattles the crossbar. How unfortunate was that? And I don't think we are going to get another chance. Maybe this could be a chance for us. They're not passing around the defence. Although they could be building up play for their own attack. Looks like they are. They're passing it around beautifully. They've got a lot of space there, players, as well. We're not really shutting them down enough. We've got the ball back. Let's make sure we make them pay for losing possession. Come on. Play the ball forward. Oh, nice. Spread the play. Oh, nice passing. Whip it in. It's whipped in. Far post. And Nieto, despite the fact he's come on, has missed a crucial opportunity. That could be the difference between one point and zero points. Oh my god, Nato, what it just makes you wonder if Lara was there, would you have buried that? What a disappointing defeat. A game we twice took the lead in to only end up losing the game is so so poor. You sympathize with them, I you know, that's that's pretty good. Uh it was a spirited defeat against Raul Sociedad. You were expected to lose heavily. Uh This one was there for the taking. I hope we don't regret this come the end of the season, because I feel we could. We were fortunate with the own goal, but we took, well, no, no, we didn't take the lead twice, did we? You won't mind about it. We took the lead once uh, before, oh, no, we did take the lead twice. I'm, I'm correct in saying that. Yeah, we took the lead twice, and we really shouldn't be throwing it away twice. Um, your team is listed as one of the most prolific tackling outfits in the league. Is there something you take pride in? Of course. Um, even though we can see quite a few goals, apparently we're very good at tackling. And even though the team had 19 shots in the last game, apparently we were good at tackling and intercepting and breaking up play. Obviously, you don't like seeing your team concede goals. Uh, no comment on the free kick. No comment on the free kick. No comment. Oh, fuck this. <laughs> First time I've stormed out of a press conference. Stop asking me the same questions. I hate it when they do that so much. Uh, all right. So... That puts us in 16th place. So I'll continue it forward quickly because a lot of teams are playing around us and it will be good to get an indication of where we are on the table once everyone's has sort of played. And let's see if we can spot a few results. Uh, Deportivo lost to Granada. Uh, Almeria actually got a draw against Espanyol. Uh, Malaga play a bit later on and so do Elche. Uh, Malaga won and Elche lost. So I think that puts us down into... 17th place it does so now we're just above the relegation zone by one point so and plus the two teams below us have games in hand so have a game in hand each so that's it's worrying a little but next time i will meet you back will be the uh villarreal game i believe i said uh, i'm sort of questioning that now based on our form uh i'll decide a little bit close to the time elche we've beaten once this season and lost twice to I feel like we could give them another bash, give them a go, see if we could beat them on camera, and then maybe the Barcelona game. Oh no, it's either the Villarreal or Elche game. Uh, one of the two. Either way, I'll decide a bit closer to the time. So until then, guys, until next time, peace out.